Well, good morning. It's Sunday morning, it's about 20 to 8. I've taken Andrew to work. Got wrapped up well. And I'm out. Gonna do my second run of week two. It's windy and cold. And it was trying to rain a little bit, so it should be fun. It was pouring it down last night, so I think it's going to be a bit wet underfoot. But never mind. Oh. Yeah. So Andrew's at work till three. I'll go back and pick him up later. So I'm going to do some more batch cooking today. I'll make my potato and leek cakes. And I think I'm going to do some roasted cauliflower. Spicy roasted cauliflower. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that later. It's pretty quiet around here so you don't have to uh, worry too much about the roads. But there's a nice country lane that I found to run on. Right, my this is my warm up and it'll be finishing soon. So I shall see you later if I'm not dead. That's done. I'm just on my cool down walk. <clears throat> that was hard. It's definitely harder jogging out than on the treadmill. I feel tired and my legs aren't really working. <laughs> oh. But the positive is I'm getting a little bit further on the road each time. So I'm obviously covering a little bit more distance each time. Oh dear, it's nearly breakfast time, nearly home now. What is it, it's quarter past eight now, are you all still in bed? Let me know. So my breakfast after my run is um, baked oats. So I've got 40 grams of oats for my Healthy Extra B and I've mixed that with 40ml of almond milk, one egg and some flavourings and I've got a few raspberries, well quite a few raspberries under there. I've got so a banana and custard molly yoghurt and a Marks and Spencer's strawberry and raspberry fruit tea and I am going to sit and watch Emmerdale in peace and quiet with no Andrew because he's at work. Oh that's better feel a bit more human now, being in the shower, dressed. Um, it's 11 o'clock so yeah, I like to sort of take a bit of time over having my breakfast and my shower. And now I am going to film the recipe for potato and leek cakes because it's been quite uh, requested. So we got another veg box on our order this week, one of the five pound ones from Morrison's online. So I'm going to make the potato and leek cakes. Um, yeah, they freeze really well um, and they taste really, really nice and they've got a bit of cheese in as well. So look out for that recipe coming up as well. Well, hello. So I have baked my leek and potato cakes and filmed the recipe and they're in the oven. <coughs> and I thought I'd come on and film making the um, spiced roasted cauliflower that I'm going to do. A little cauliflower from my uh, veg box. You'll have to excuse, I haven't quite cleared up, but I just want to get this in the oven and then I'll, I'll have some dinner and clear up everything afterwards. So what we need for this is, actually this recipe says 400 gram cauliflower and broccoli. Well, I've just got cauliflower, that's fine. We need, I've left my spices over here as usual. Bear with me a second. Some, what's this one? Q 
cumin seeds well i've just got ground cumin some crushed garlic cloves again the old crushed the old frozen garlic will come in handy um two teaspoons mild or medium curry powder 250ml veg stock, I've just got a chicken and I'll use a stock pot. Um, low calorie cooking spray and red chilli, de-seeded and finely chopped. Funnily enough, I haven't got any chilli or chilli flakes. So I'm just going to put a bit of cayenne pepper in and I'm sure that'll be fine. So I'll get to um, chopping up my florets and I'll come back to you. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm actually not having this today. I, don't. I might have a little bit today. I'll see how much it makes. But I'm making it for the next couple of days to have as my speedy veg. I forgot to say this recipe is actually on the Slimming World website. Sl uh, spice roasted cauliflower and broccoli. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description box. Um, so I've got my um cauliflower floret so that actually didn't take long um and it says totally tasty served with our chicken sag from the iceland food range so that sounds nice um so i'm going to get my chicken stock the recipe says vegetable stock but i'm not too bothered i love i'm really totally in love with these um no stock pots they're really, really tasty. So, put that into a jug. Or you can do it the other way around and make the stock first. But, got my boiling water. I might not use 250, I might just do 200. Change it to mills. that'll do. I've got 215 mils of stock. I'm going to add my uh, a couple of cloves of my frozen garlic. So a couple of teaspoons of garlic. Then I'm going to add, um, what did we say? mild curry powder uh, two teaspoons i've asked andrew to put this on the order because i am running low so we'll put a couple of teaspoons of that in if i did have chili flakes i would put them in but i haven't so i'm going to put a little spoon end of cayenne pepper in and actually you're supposed to sprinkle this on but i think i'll put a bit in here and then maybe i'll sprinkle that's enough that's plenty so then i've got a roasting tray which i'm just going to find oh there's my fry light Because while I've got the while I've got the oven on, I might as well get this in the oven as well. So we need to add this stock to the cauliflower and broccoli and give it a toss. And then we'll stick that in the tray. Bit like um, Oxo roast is. And we'll do it with a bit of salt and pepper. Where's my salt gone? There. And I might just put a bit of paprika on. Smoke paprika is this. So, and then 
200 degrees fan. Well, mine's at 180, but I'll have a swap around and um, for 30 minutes. So it'll probably end up being in a bit longer than that anyway, 180. So I'll let you know how it turns out. And now it really is lunchtime. Well, actually, I better clear up first. So I just thought I'd show you quickly um, how I make egg wraps because that's what I'm going to have for my lunch. So I need two eggs in a jug. That's my potato and leek cakes that have been baked. My cauliflower is still in the oven. I'll get it out in a minute. So you've got your two eggs in there and then you want some seasoning so some salt and pepper or pepper and salt and you want a few mixed herbs oops and then just give that a quick whisk meanwhile you want to get pretty big frying pan the biggest one you have lost my fry light excuse me a moment yeah you'll, you'll have to i'll have to close you down because i can't find my fry light sorry about the noise in the background that's the acti fry so i am um i've just heated my large frying pan with fry light heat it at full power then turn it down to medium give your eggs a final whisk and pour in. Make sure it's levelled out and leave that cooking away nicely. It'll only take a few minutes. Right, so that's been frying for three or four minutes on that one side and you can see you just slide your spatula underneath and see if it moves around and if it does just give it a gentle flip it won't need a lot more cooking so just literally give it another one or two minutes but once the other side is cooked we just want to gently pull it out onto a plate and leave it to cool for a while and that's why i've started cooking the egg wrap first while all the other ingredients are still cooking and i'll leave that to cool for a while and then we'll pack it and roll it so what I'm going to fill this this egg wrap with is my 50% tomato ketchup, which is half a sin per tablespoon. So I'm just going to measure, which is a tablespoon is 15 grams. So I'm going to measure 15 grams. That will do. I'm going to spread that out over the wrap, which has cooled down now. You could also use the bar the Crucials barbecue or mayonnaise or whatever you fancy. I think next weekend I might try the um, the corn chicken fillets that I bought, crispy chicken fillets with mayonnaise. But I'm sure you'll see that because I'll probably still be vlogging, all being well. So I've got my half a sin of tomato ketchup on there. Then I'm going to take some green leaves, not too many because I want some on the side. Right, so that's the green leaves. And then uh, I've got two Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages, which are half a sin each. So I'm going to put those on and then I've only got one slice left but I'm going to take um, a Dairyly cheese slice and you can have two of these for your healthy extra air. It's not a light one, it's just the regular 
two for your healthy extra A and I'm going to put those on the sausages and then I'm going to just fold that bit under and then start rolling just squeeze it all in a bit it's come undone but it doesn't matter now I'm not sure whether you'd want to be seen out and about eating this um, but it is really really nice and it's a bit like a McDonald's breakfast wrap if you wanted to do some bacon you could do so that's what it looks like inside and then I'm going to throw the rest of the green leaves on and then I've also uh, in the Actifry work with the sausages I threw some tomatoes and peppers in oh that's hot it's just a bit of a different taste to having them just cold just ready just sort of chopped so stick that on top of the green leaves sorry about the noise i've got a bit of balsamic vinegar left so this is free on the plan if you didn't already know i'm just gonna uh, balsamic vinegar just gonna pour that on the green leaves and I'm going to have that with, um, I'm going to eat this now, so it'll be half my healthy extra A, and I'm going to have that with an apple and an orange and a Pepsi Max. And also, I've, all, I've also eaten one of these, my leek cakes. I need to work it out properly, but I think they work out as one sin each, but I'll confirm that uh, later on. Here's my spiced cauliflower. I've just had a little taste and it is lovely and soft. What I actually did was I cooked it for about 40 to 45 minutes and then because I've been so busy with making my dinner and everything, I actually left it in the oven with the heat turned off. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll, I probably will have some tonight, but I've got either this or stir fry veg. Um, so you'll see what I choose to have. But yeah, doesn't that look lovely? I was convinced it would still be hard, uh, but no, it's gone really, really soft. And I think the stock's helped as well, and it's really, really well flavoured. So that is my uh, spiced roasted cauliflower. Who's home? Hello. Workers are home. And I've got to take Alfie out. Where's that Alfie? There's no rest for the wicked, is there? Is that again? So I've just put my um, swede in to the microwave to cook for tomorrow. I'm singing swede to make some swede match. And I'll take this one out for a walk you now. Excuse the noise of the washer and everything, but I just thought I'd show you these because I'm just opening them. These are my uh, meal prep batch cooking containers the, the same ones as Andrew got off Amazon a while ago and he actually saw them on Groupon I'm not sure if the offer's still on but we paid £7 for these 10 meal prep containers um, and they're, um, you can keep anything in it um, and they're microwave fr and freezer safe so it's called ASAB and they're called meal prep containers so you'll probably be able to get them on Amazon because that's where, where we got them from so yeah there you go look freezer safe microwave safe dishwasher safe and stackable reusable so yeah they're really really handy so I'm gonna cook some chicken now to uh, put in one of these well my Sunday evening meal is this um, chicken meal that was in last month's magazine so it's the Baji chicken with Bombay potatoes and it's marinated chicken with onion bhaji topping, spiced potatoes and mint yoghurt dressing and there's two chicken breasts in there and it's three sins per breast. Um, so I've got my chicken breast there, uh, you get a separate sachet of yoghurt and mint sauce so I'm obviously saving the other half. For when I have the other portion. You can see the potatoes 
and then the onion barge on the breast and with the sauce and then I've got some stir fry veg and some of my spicy roasted cauliflower so I've got three sins there uh, I forgot to say I think you already sort of picked it up uh, but my egg wrap was one and a half sins plus half my healthy extra A um, I've got a blackcurrant juice and a raspberry muller yogurt for my Sunday evening snacks are my caramel coffee with some almond milk. I'll come back to that in a minute. Then I'm having two more of the potato and leek cakes. Um, I already had one earlier. So that, those three leek and potato cakes are going to be half my healthy extra A. And if you remember, I had a cheese slice or a cheese single earlier on. So that's going to be my healthy extra A half in the potato and leek cakes and half in my lunch and I've got an orange Oso chocolate bar for three and a half sins and a Rocky Road Hi-Fi bar for three sins so as you've seen I've had my whole healthy extra A in cheese so I'm gonna sin for count sins for my almond milk which I used in my coffee this coffee and in my baked oats this morning it's half a sin for 100 mils and I've used about 150 so I'm going to count one sin for almond milk I'd already had one and a half sins in my lunch and three sins in my uh, for my chicken so I end the day on 12 sins and I'm just watching Tanya on her live video so thank you very very much for watching that's another good day